Ladies and gentlemen, we sometimes get a uh, wonderful guest dropping by. Uh, this guy is one of my favorites. He's upstairs in the big theater uh, working with the one and only Mr. Rodney Carrington. He was recently on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, and he has his own special coming up very soon on Comedy Central. A nice welcome for the one and only Mr. Drew Thomas. Drew Thomas! <laughs> You guys, the ladies got dressed up. You guys are shiny. You look good. Some of the guys just didn't care what they put on, did they? Just, you had all day to get dressed. This is the bullshit you came up with? Polo shirts and t-shirts? Look at this guy with the pullover. You didn't even try, did you? And I could tell the married men, they didn't dress themselves. They have on what I call marriage issue outfits. That's where your wife say, put this on so nobody else thinks you're hot. You can always tell the married man in the mall his pants are shorter than everybody else's. <laughs> Only wives know where to find 30 inch inseam pants. <laughs> Look at this guy. You married, sir? Yes, sir. How long you been married? Almost 50 years. 50 years. In a row, sir? <laughs> That's awesome. I gotta ask that, because I'm black and black people don't do in a row. We do on and off. <laughs> You can ask a black couple, how long y'all been together? Eight years on and off, like the first kid and the third one is mine, but not the middle. <laughs> but I still treat him like he my son or whatever, because I was away for a while. <laughs> but I'm taking my time. This is a major decision. You only want to do it once. You're limited on where you can go to meet this wife. You can go to clubs and bars. I don't like going to nightclubs. Everybody in the nightclub is a liar. The men are lying, the women are lying. You got older women in the club trying to look young, but you know they older because they got that vaccine mark on their arm. <laughs> the part that scares me the most is the fact that men and women don't look at marriage the same way. When women talk about marriage, it's a happy occasion. I'm getting married, I got my ring, I got my colors picked out, I got four of my fat friends to stand next to me. It's gonna be a beautiful day. No, their dress is ugly, mine is pretty. But it's not the same for the men. When men talk about marriage with our friends, it sounds like something you get diagnosed with. Did you hear what happened to Charles? No, what? He's getting married. No! I just seen him last week. When did he find out? She told him yesterday. Again. Is there anything that we could do for him? No, the invitation has already went out. There's nothing we can do. Charles is terminal. All her cousins know. I travel around, that's what I do for a living. I got friends from all walks of life, and I'll share with you some of the things that I've learned. White people that got houses with three garage doors. That's where you keep your spaceship. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. They think it's for golf carts and boats, but that's where you keep your spaceship, because you're gonna leave Earth and go to another planet, and I'm coming. <laughs> and I try to tell my black friends all the time, you need white friends with spaceships. <laughs> White people are cool, but they only gonna take one black person per spaceship. <laughs> and I don't wanna be the only black person on the new planet. God forbid somebody's moon rock come up missing. Here we go with this person. <laughs> I went and got some of that KY jelly with the warming gel, but nobody told me that this wasn't for men. <laughs> So I get this stuff home and I'm like, tonight is gonna be special. I got the KY jelly with the warming gel. I'm in the bathroom prepping. Got some in the palm of my hand that's warm and jelly-like. I seen the commercial, rubbed it on myself, had a nice warm sensation. Then it started getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And I'm like, get this off of me, get this off of me. Don't get it in your eye, don't get it in your eye. And I'm thinking to myself, didn't anybody test this on no little rat dick or nothing before they put this on the market? This is way too hot, way too hot. You gotta test it. That's what the rats are for. You can't just put this on the market like that. 
I had to take it back and get some of that edible lubricant. And I don't know if you've ever tried the edible lubricant, but get the green apple. You could put that on anything. Biscuits, food, <laughs> That green apple is awesome. I'm telling you, try it. It could save your marriage. <laughs> but life isn't that bad. We complain as people. We wish we had a bigger house, more money, nicer cars. Some of you even wish you were black. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but life will give you back one just to let you know it's okay. The other day, I was in a gas station, and I picked up a couple of items, came to like $5.65, and I gave the guy behind the counter a $10 bill. So I'm standing there waiting for $4.35 change. He starts to give me change for 100 All of a sudden, I got a decision to make. Instantly, Evil Drew and Good Drew popped up on my shoulders. They're going to help me with the decision. Evil Drew said, take the change and snatch the register. <laughs> I'm like, this dude crazy. Get out of here. And Good Drew was like, don't be a fool. Just take the change. <laughs> You guys were the best. Thank you so much. You and Thomas.